Okay, so this is our new exercise. In this exercise, I will show you how you can uh, blending between four empty cylinder using four blending surface. And filling on top is one mid surface and another one at the bottom. And the continuity between the cylinder and the mid surface is G2 and the blending in here is also G2. The blending in this area is G1 and I will show you how you can control the shape of the middle of this mid surface by changing the location of this point. So for example, I move this point up like this and I click OK. The middle surface also update. So hope you enjoy the tutorial. OK, so I start uh, by creating a new document. And I turn off the grid. I go to the product workbench. Right now, I'm using the FreeCut uh, 1.0 RC2, so you can download it in the video description link. I create a sketch uh, in the front view, and uh, instead of creating a circle for the cylinder, I create a four center arc. The first point uh, in the center, and I put um, the next two points like this to create uh, the first arc. Doing the same, I create uh, three more. Okay. Next, I select uh, these four. And I hit A for ego. Okay. Next, I hit V to activate the vertical constraint and I click on uh, this point and then this point. This point and this point. This point and this point. This point and then this point. All right. Next, I come over here and click on the eye icon to hide the display um, constraint for you easy to see the points. Now I hit H uh, to activate the horizontal constraint and then I click on this point and then this point. This point and this point. Okay. Now I select uh, this arc and I hit D and I set the radius to 50. Now I select this point and then this point. I hit D and I set the distance to 80. Doing the same down here. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I can close. Next I select this sketch and I go to is true. I is true is this one to uh, 300 and symmetric, and I click OK. Now we have a new cylinder with uh, four edges, but uh, I don't want this one is a solid. So I select this is true, and I go to the data, and the solid option, I set it to false. Now we only have a surface. Next, I want to create a copy of this is true, so I select the is true, I go to this rock workbench and I create a clone. I go to the top view and I select the clone and I go to transform and I type in here 90 degree in the rotation increment and I grab the blue one and rotate it like this. Next, I want to go back to the product bench and I control select 
uh, the Yistru and the clan and I go to Prat, Compound and Mac Compound now we have a single compound next uh, I will um, cut it in the middle using a big cube so I will create a sketch and extrude it I create a sketch and a top view and I view the session I create a center rectangle at the center go out I select this line and this line I hit E for equal and then I select this line I hit D and I set it to 200 enter I close now I select this cat and I go to is true it's true this one to 100 and symmetric I click OK I click on the is true and go to the data I change the length forward to a little bit longer 200 okay and then I control select the compound and the is true and I cut it now we have four cylinders next I want to create a blending surface blending between uh, this surface and this surface so I will use the blend uh, surface tool in the curl workbench I go to the curl workbench and in order to use the blend surface we need uh, two faces and two edges so I zoom close here and control select this surface and and this edge this surface and then this edge and then I click on the blend surface now you can see a new blend surface created if I click on the blend surface and I go to the top view and you can see in the data um, the continuity of the blend surface is true and true so the continuity is something that if you decrease it for example I zero that out for the continuity 1 and 2 you can see the blend surface is just a flat blending between this surface and this surface so if I increase it to 1 and 1 and the surface starting to uh, tension with the neighbor faces so in this case I set it to 2 and 2 for a better result okay next I want to create for a copy of this plan surface I select this plan surface and I go to this rock workbench and I go to the modification array tool and polar array and I click on reset point and I type in here 4 and I click OK now you can see we have three more plan surface Next, I want to create the big surface on top. To do that, I go to the surface workbench. And I will use the filling tool. I click on the filling tool. And I click on this edge. And just click in sequence. I click on this edge. Uh, you can see these uh, three edges also selected. So we need one more step before we continue to use the filling tool so I go to the cancel so instead of using the array I will downgrade this one to a cell so I click on the array and I go to the short workbench and I click on the downgrade or you can use the hotkey D and N and now you can see the array disappear and we only have a cell I go to uh, the surface workbench again and I'm using the filling tool and I click on this edge this edge 
This one. This one. Just select in sequence. Now we have uh, a big surface up here. I click OK. Next, uh, how do we uh, create the control point up here? To create the control point, we go to the prod workbench and we create a sketch on the top view. But I offset it to, for example, 80 to bring this sketch up away from the center 80 mm. I click OK. And I just simply create a point at the center. And then I click up close. You can see we have a small point up here. Now I double click on the surface and I go down to the vertex constraints and I click on add vertex and I click on this vertex and then you can see the surface go up to this the position of this uh, point okay next how do we uh, control the G1 and G2 continuity so you can see in here we have uh, a list of uh, edges so the cell dot edge for if I double click on this uh, edge double click on it you can see this edge over here so I want this edge uh, have the G1 continuity so I just simply go to the faces option I drop this one down and I select the face the face one the face one is actually this face over here neighbor to the big surface blending with this surface and the continuity I set it to G1 and I click accept okay now I just looking for the name cell so I go down here to the cell dot edge 8 double click on it and I you can see this edge is actually this one over here and I set it to I set the face to the face two and the continuity to G1 I click accept doing the same for the cell dot edge, edge trail uh, face G1 accept you can see the surface also update uh, cell dot uh, edge existing select the face and G1 accept okay Next, I will looking for the cut. Up here, we have the cut dot edge thirteen, and that is this edge over here. And we select the face and the G two for that. Click accept. All right. The cut down here. Double click on it. The face and the G two. Accept. The cut dot at three select the face and g2 accept the last one select the face and the g2 accept okay all right next we can mirror this surface so i select the surface and i go to the mirror and mirror it in the s and y plan click ok now I can select the sketch 0, 0, 2 and I can go to the rename this one to control point. Okay, and then I let me hide this one for a second. And then I go over here and hit shift B and select everything. And I go to the curve workbench. And I click on create parametric solid to create a cell. You can see a new cell created. Now if I show the control point up here, I hit space bar to show it. And maybe I go to the view and I set the point size to something like 20. Bigger, alright. 
if I select the control point and I go to the data and change the placement, the position, and you can control the Z axis in here, for example, 30. And you can see the surface also update. And in case you want to grab the control point and move it with uh, the transform tool, you can select this one, the control point, and you go to the drag workbench and you create a clone of this control point okay and then you can select the control point and you hide it and then you double click on the surface in here double click on it and then you go down to the vertex constraint and you click on this one and you right click and you go to the remove okay and then you click on the vertex and then you click on this one right here Okay, the control point 2D dot vertex one is selected. Now click OK. Now you can select this clone and go to the transform. And you can move this one up like this. Click OK. All right. Now we just finished the exercise. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.